What's going on, guys? Appreciate those of you that were able to get to this uh, to wait for a moment. I ended up having to go live 45 minutes earlier than scheduled. I actually have something that came up that I have to go take care of uh, before 6 o'clock, and it's a little, dry, little bit of a drive to go take care of it. So I still wanted to do this live stream with you guys. I didn't want to reschedule it. Uh, so we're doing it a little bit sooner, so it'll be a few minutes that – before we dive into it, I'll give everybody a few minutes to jump in here that wants to be here, but might as well hang tight. But for those that are here, Atelier Cologne, Clementine, California is the weapon of choice today. Uh, working on a collaboration review with my buddy Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. I still need to send the Pacific Line footage over to him for the video that we're doing on his channel. He already sent me his footage for this one. And I got to tell you, bright, fresh, watery limey orangey peppery a little green this is a beautiful fragrance it really is so let's see who's wearing what in the chat make sure to drop your center of days down below and like the stream on the way in so joel what's going on good to see you yeah it was kind of impromptu had to go ahead and jump on that's true yesterday was your birthday so i oh, know i thought it's sunday sunday was your birthday right joel fragrance world jack clubs line with your own blue electric clone slash twist mike good to see you just got here. Climatic, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you. Telling Joel hello. So make sure to put your scent of the days in there. Uh, see, so we just have one scent of the day so far. Dino, good to see you as well, my man. Rocking Michael Kors Extreme Blue. That's uh, my favorite from Michael Kors, probably. I think that's safe for me to say that it's my favorite one. So look a little, uh, a little red. Let me adjust this image just a bit. My cheeks are looking a little on the red side. No, that didn't help. Turn the brightness up a little bit. That was a bad idea. So we'll adjust it on the fly, you know. We turn the saturation down a bit. There we go. That's what I needed. There we go. That's better. Color saturation was a little too high. So, yes, yeah, Sunday. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Tommy Bahama, St. Bart's for running errands. That's an excellent choice. Boz, good to see you. Was okay. Was missing brother first birthday without him Ooh, sorry to hear that man sorry to hear that love the shirt well i appreciate that thank you boss that's one of my into the am um crew shirts crew neck t-shirts i i got rid of a lot of them because i just don't wear that many of them i only kept a handful or so of colors of the 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 basic color i have this one the purple the brown v-neck the all black i got rid of stuff like i think i still have the bright green but there's some blue, some other blue, shades of blue i got rid of stuff like that Smooth operator, welcome to Florida, man. Love the hat. Yeah, it's it's a badass Mavs hat. I really like it. Not really a Mavs fan. I'm a fan of the hat, is what it comes down to. Ooh, very intense by Fragrance Dubois. I never tried it. Walt, what's going on? Creed Aventus Cologne. Can't go wrong there. So we'll hang out for another roughly six minutes. Give everybody a moment to join, and then we'll jump into Miss Romantic by School of Scent. I don't know how many of you watch Omar. But Omar had reached out to me mm, a little over a month ago, asking if I was interested. Totally gets the way it works. As long as you're cool with me saying whatever the hell comes to mind. And he said he expected nothing less. He said, sure, send it my way. I'll check it out. He uh, got it to me before the move. I'm just now getting an opportunity to do this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to just spend time with it and do a full review or do a live reaction. And I felt like, hey, let's do the live reaction. I think that'd be a little better for everyone else, and it, they're always fun for me to do the live reactions. So we'll see what it smells like. I know Justin did a shorts video so far on it because Justin got it as well. And I've been kind of eyeballing. I, I looked at the notes. I don't remember what they were specifically. I think there's iris and tonka bean and stuff like that in here, maybe ginger. We'll look at the notes in a little bit. But Mr. Maritime, his aquatic fragrance looks good to me. And if I like what I smell here, I might buy Mr. Maritime. I might, because I like the note. I remember looking at that one being like, ooh, that, that one. I need that one. So we'll see. So shout out to Omar for sending this my way. Again, if it's shit, I'll tell you guys it's shit. He totally understands that that's possibly going to happen. And he's good with it, and I can respect that, because that's the way I like to operate. Let's see who else. Don't forget to like the video. That's what I'm talking about. Let him know, Joel. So the thing is, a lot of people weren't expecting this. It was impromptu that I went live 45 minutes early because for those of you just jumping in, I have something that I have to take care of today that came up 
and I didn't want to reschedule the live stream. I still wanted to do the live stream with you guys, so I can still do an hour like we normally do. It's not going to take away from the live. I just have to do it a little bit earlier, unfortunately. Love the bright green, too, but I don't have any such shirts anymore. Yeah, uh, the bright green, I like how it's got the black logo. I think it's a good contrast for it. Lamal, the original for Climatic, going with classic. Tell you what, today is a hot day, 102. Yeah, I totally get that. Hermes H24 Eau de Toilette. It's a monster on my skin, and I really enjoy it. Both are really good. I think that line's got so much potential. I'm interested to see what flanker is going to be next. Wearing Fakar, which is the YEDP clone. Wild Cherry by Mancera. Tell me about it, Daryl. I've never tried it. Heading to the mall, Secretions Magnifique's my sin of the day. So, trying to be funny. Good job. The comedian fits the name because you're not actually wearing that. So, I'm wearing Adonis Awakens. You, sir, smell incredible. Oh, Dane, I've never tried that one. Bathed in Signature Citrine. Hey, I don't blame you. It's one of the better freshies out there. May it rest in peace here in the North American market. I got green eyes. What color is best for me then? Uh, browns and navy blues and darker colors for the most part with green eyes. I think anyways. Try anything from House of Wood? I have not. I have not. So we got three more minutes. We'll give three more minutes. We'll give everybody a chance to get here. And we'll dive into it, which it's a very niche topic. So, again, it'll, I expect an intimate group of people to watch. I don't spe expect what we had yesterday with 200, you know, 30, 240 people watching because that's a bit different. I, I figured we'll have anywhere from 50 to 100 people show up to watch this. And I appreciate all of you that do. So we'll, we'll do the reactions. I haven't sprayed it yet. Like I said, I did look at the notes once. I went exploring the website. Hope everyone's great. I can't complain, Josh. I hope you're doing well. Also, hope the baby's good. Lydia, good to see you. Testing porcelain by Catherine Nusham. Today, beautiful. Manuel, Ross the Boss, end of the day, Tabaxitron Vani from Sphinx. Okay. Yeah, blue and gray and brown look good on me. Yeah, I'm, I like gray too. Blues and grays, that's that's my favorite tones to go with. Good to see you wearing fashionable Riviera. That's good stuff. Been wearing this like crazy. Love this stuff. Great hidden gem. It's phenomenal for the 20 bucks. You can scoop it up at the rack store for. Missoni Wave. Excellent. Excellent. Getting ripped on Dior Room 2020. 10 4. Joel, the Boz. Breaking it down. Okay. So we'll jump in. We got a little less than two minutes. We got about a little over 50 people. Half the likes as per usual. People want to come watch. Nobody wants to give me the thumbs up and help me out and help spread the word. I can't make anybody do it. <clears throat> Joel, the boss, Josh. Good to see you. Lydia is telling everyone hello. So I guess we'll go ahead and dive into it. So here we go. Again, this is Omar from the channel School of Scent. He has a very large following pretty much across social media. TikTok, he's his largest presence, I believe. He's, uh, you know, upper 100,000 subscribers and... On YouTube, over 100,000 followers on Instagram. So we've got a pretty large following. You know, shout outs to him. You know, smooth box, clean, uniform, nothing special here. Just a box. Has standard information. It's, it's just a box. It will be getting thrown away. So the bottle, very clean look, very basic look, though. I have to say nothing spectacular here. It is uh, relatively smooth. Let me adjust the focus. There we go. That's a little bit better. So it says the name of the fragrance, Mr. Romantic. Obviously more of an evening wear fragrance. Name of the brand, Atrium Fragrance. Some info on the bottom. It's an Eau de Parfum. Name of the fragrance again on the tag, 100 ml. Cap holds pretty well. Even though it's got a click-on collar, it's not a click-on cap. And even though it's as basic as they come with the cap, it actually works with the aesthetic. It works with the aesthetic, so I'm not going to knock it, but it is a rather basic presentation for the most part. Atomizer, well, let me readjust the focus now, because now it's going to go back to me. There we go. So let's see what we got here. Oops, sprayed right away. I immediately get a powdery vanilla smell. doesn't smell cheap, so that's the first thing you want to look for. You want quality here, because I don't know what retail is on it. We'll look at it in a little bit, but I get powdery vanilla in the air. There's promise. Okay. 
where is my cursor? There we go. Okay, let me get caught up real quick. We'll dive in. Lydia, hope all is well. Why EDP? Can't go wrong there. Happy Land Haymaker. That's good stuff. Wearing Blue to Chanel EDP, I know. Not so original, but such a... Oh, don't feel bad for wearing Blue to Chanel, my man. Afnan Modest. Mm, doing well. Thanks, man. Great scent. Everyone hit that like button. I appreciate that, Lydia. Thank you so much. Volcanus King of the Super Chat has made his presence known with a $10 Super Chat. I appreciate it, sir. Wearing Shea Ball by Bond number nine. Basically, their take on Green Irish Tweed. Not familiar with this brand. Have to look it up. I love Lamal Elixir. Uh, I was on the phone with Dave Cowley while he was sampling it live on Sunday. Not live, like in person. He was at Macy's smelling it. So, on that, me and Ross are both JPG fans. That's what we have in common. Indeed, I, I, I love the brand. I love the brand. But speaking of, let's go ahead and give this a spray. So, I have Clementine, California on this forearm. I left this arm available. But we'll just do the hand. It is a good atomizer. Precise, like crisp spray. So I gotta give them that. It's it's a good atomizer, not something phenomenal, pressure sensitive, pressurized, or anything like that. That does have a little bit of an iris smell, but not like it's waxy, but it doesn't smell like Diorum. So it's not that kind. Of, it smells like iris, though. There's a spicy undertone that's coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. I like that. You guys know I like my spices. I got to tell you, right off the get, this is a good fragrance. It smells good. It's way better than Soldier Boy. And look, that's, that's a nice fragrance. This is higher quality. This achieves... A lot more. This is has a little bit of a refinement with some sex appeal. And that's probably what he's going for with a name like Mr. Romantic. So the vibe check is there. It check it checks off the vibe for the name and the theme. There's a creamy vanillic tone to this, but more soft and dusty than creamy. A little creamy, but soft and dusty. Powdery floral, spice. And a little ambery. The opening's nice. The opening is indeed nice. Okay, let's let's go ahead and set up a screen share. Let's take a look at these notes. Let's see. Here we go. Allow. Okay. All right. So that's for the list. <laughs> Whatever that is. So yeah, Mr. Maritime. When I saw the notes on this one, I said, okay, if I like Mr. Romantic, I'm gonna buy this one because I really like the note breakdown. Just to show you guys, real quick. Mr. Maritime for the for the warm weather before we dive into this one. It's apparently a limited edition fragrance, clearly an aquatic. But here's the note breakdown. Bergamot green mango marine notes, tonka rhubarb clary sage, cedar wood, sandalwood, amber. This just sounds like something that would be really good. Watery, fruity top, a little sour and green and aromatics. Probably not too sweet with the Tonka bean, but woody as well. I think this is going to be really good. So if I like Mr. Romantic, I think I'm going to you know, show my support and buy Mr. Maritime, which so far so good. I mean, I, I like Mr. Romantic. It smells really nice. So let's, let's see what he's talking about here. So this is the second release of the five. The first one was, I forgot the name of the first one. What was the first one? Let's go back. Not Date Night, Mr. Fragrant. So that was his first release was Mr. Fragrant. Then the Date Night Fragrance, Mr. Romantic's the second. So we still got two more to come. The third release is Mr. Maritime. So, all right. So here we go. One batch release, okay? Step two, building your well-rounded collection. Mr. Romantic is Atrium's Date Fragrance, a romantic combination of cardamom, amber, so there's my spice, balanced on a bedrock distinctive white florals, and more fresh vanilla. That's fair. That It's kind of a dusty vanilla. And a base of masculine sandalwood. So there's my creaminess. Suitable for all age groups. This is anyone who wants a seductive scent to wear on a date. Or a general reserved outing. Both day and night and in any season. Designed for dates. Reserved. Suitable for all year use. All age groups. Eight hours longevity. Soft to medium projection. So they give you kind of an idea of what he was going for. 20% eau de parfum. Unisex leaning masculine. 
Labdanum cardamom chamomile. That, okay. That's what that odd fresh floral feel was. So there's no iris, but it's powdery. So the lavender, it's. I'm kind of surprised that la it's lavender and neroli because you would think that's a soapy combination, but I don't get soapy here. So that tells me it's a very high quality lavender. Um, typically, it's and it can't be much neroli because neroli tends to give off that white floral soapy feel. But the lavender here has got to be what's making it powdery. Maybe even the chamomile and cardamom contributing. But it is powdery. That's why I immediately, because you do get a, fl a white floral feel. So chamomile, lavender, and neroli are your florals and labdanum. Interesting. Uh, I immediately thought iris. It smells a little bit of a powdery iris feel, but it still smells like it could be, you know? It, it's odd the way this came across. He was able to achieve a very similar accord to what I assumed was iris. So, so far, so good with this one. The sandalwood's definitely what's making it creamy, the sandalwood vanilla combo. And you don't really get much muskiness here, but the spice is just right because I wouldn't call it a spicy fragrance, but there's a present underlying warm spicy like accord to this one. This is a sensual fragrance. It's not punchy. It's not sharp and abrasive. It's not real in your face, but it's very present. I like this. I think this is a great fragrance. So if this is the kind of stuff I can expect from Omar's brand, Omar's on to something. Omar is on to something. I say kudos. Kind of gives me a little bit of an Armani code feel. A little bit. Almost like niche code. It doesn't smell exactly like it. But it, it has a similarity to it. It definitely doesn't smell designer. So that's an added plus. Let's see what these are going for. What's the price? 100 ml. 117 USD for 100 ml. So he's he's priced really well. That's below designer prices. For limited run, art, you know, artisan niche, basically. It's artisanal. Small batch quality stuff. I'm, I, man, he's doing it right. Good job, Omar. Kudos. Seriously. For real. I don't know who's a fan of him and whatnot and who watches his content, but good job, man. Excellent business model. Nothing flashy about the about the bottle presentations and all that, but it's defined. There's a defined presence and style and vibe to the brand. It's a clean look. Overhead's probably not crazy because it's more basic presentation, but it's a clean look. Um, but quality oils. I don't know who perfumed everything curious i would assume the same perfumer for all but i could be wrong let's see so there's a note from omar but i wanted to see who the perfumer is but mm, nothing so far but i'm i'm digging it so let's see the notes on mr fragrant because i've never looked at mr fragrant so same price but mr maritime has me interested so a 25 percent Actually, not a note of parfum. It's a pure parfum, bordering on extrait to parfum. Yeah, that's that's the first concentration of extrait. That's what Evening Mystique is. Is twenty five percent. That's your first. That's the beginning of extrait. Packed with natural ingredients, giving a rich intensity. Orange and lavender, galbanum vetiver, patchouli musk, ambergris. That sounds very versatile. I bet it's solid because I'm liking what I'm smelling here. I'm liking what I'm smelling here. It's not too powdery. It's not too sweet. The spice just kind of rounds everything off. It's not soapy, even though it's got lavender and neroli in the heart. It's not a soapy smell. And the chamomile doesn't dominate, but it offers that little something different. That's probably what that little something different in the opening was. Chamomile tea. Hmm. Okay, so have any of you tried Mr. Romantic or have experience with Mr. Fragrant or Mr. Maritime? I'm curious. Let's turn to the chat, see what you guys are saying. Burberry Touch for James, excellent choice. Hmm, powdery vanilla is my thing. It's it's sensual. This is definitely, like I said, unisex leaning masculine. I think that's a very fair assessment because I definitely think ladies can wear this. 
the florals here and that powdery vanillic smell because it's not like super flowery smelling even though there's a hefty like half the notes are florals it doesn't smell flowery it, it does not so let's see volcanoes generous does it have iris not a fan of it and so it came across like it would be but no no it's not lipstick kind of smell it is a little waxy at first that's why i really thought it would have been iris because it's powdery and it does have this white floral feel. And when I see the white florals of chamomile and neroli, I guess the chamomile is the heavier concentration, like the higher percentage in the formula, because the neroli doesn't stand out because neroli is very distinctive and usually soapy. And the type of lavender used here is not soapy either. Absolutely. Absolutely still worth it. Tried Pays the Sky yesterday. You were right. Yeah, that's one of the best of the house. That's one of the best of the house. You should try Paisley Dreams as well. That one's really, really good. It's a little bit more feminine than Paisley Sky. Speaking of powdery vanilla, I really want to pick Prada Black before it gets hard to pick up and the price goes crazy. It is a good fragrance. Okay. That's a great offering. Just got Lamal, I'm assuming, Le Parfum. Mandarina Duck Black. Always enjoy your content. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I'll pass on that one. LOL, this guy, mostly because of him, but I'm sure I'm in the minority. It's all good, Juan. To each their own. Like I said, I don't know Omar personally. Um, he reached out randomly. We've never had a conversation. Um, so Justin had spoke to him when uh, we had sent the Z Creator fragrances his way. Um, that was Justin had, was in contact with him. I was in contact with Evan, Fragrance Knowledge. Um he was somebody I said, yeah, let's, let's, let's give Evan. I like Evan. Let's send him Evan's way. And, uh, that was, so I had not dealt with Omar. Not that we had anything against one another. I had just never talked to him before. So when he reached out, it was nice. I appreciated the respect given. I was flattered and, uh, yeah, he was cool with these. He understands the way I operate. And I told him, I was like, long as you're good with me being me and doing my thing and saying whatever he's, he said, and I quote, I expect nothing less. So Sure, send it my way. Here's my address. So I like it. I like it. It's very sensual. It's very sensual. I got to give it to him. I'm curious on who perfumed it. Because I didn't see anything on the website. Hmm. But I feel like he's building quite the fragrance wardrobe. Because if the date night fragrance is this... I'm very curious to see what the signature scent, which is Mr. Fragrant, and the summertime scent, Mr. Maritime. I'm very curious, especially Mr. Maritime. That's the one that really has piqued my interest. But good to see you, Juan. Missoni Wave, another one wearing Missoni Wave. Looks really nice compared. I agree. That white label with the clear glass, I think it's the better looking of the of the group, too. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Joel. So I like I like the aesthetic even more to that. That's a good shot. Under the water, well, at least it's photoshopped onto or that's that's not actual water. That's just some kind of backdrop, but it looks cool. That's a good shot. That's a really good shot of the phrase. Oh, I've just realized I didn't have a, a split screen up. I'm sitting here looking at it and you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. That's a good looking shot right there. I agree. I actually like the clear glass with the sticker more than the painted glass the matte black glass i'm with you on that man close that down that's a good looking bottle it fits the theme it's a very clean look this is an even cleaner look yeah this i really want this this one's a 30 percent extra so the highest oil concentration is the fresh fragrance i wonder if it takes away from the freshness of the opening because it's such a heavy oil concentration claiming eight to 10 hours longevity, medium projection. Hmm. I'll find out cause I'm interested, but Mr. Romantic is very central. It's developing nicely. It's not changing drastically, but it's remaining powdery and spicy throughout. And I would say it's, it's, like picture powdery spiced cardamom like La Nuit de Lone, but it doesn't smell like La Nuit de Lone. Like take that element, that specific element, add it to the Tonka Bean signature of Armani Code. 
and raise the quality of the oils, and uh, you kind of have Mr. Romantic. A little bit of Lanouille de Lone meets a little bit of Code, but niche. That's kind of the easiest way I can describe what I'm smelling here. I think he did a good job. I think he did a very good job. So let's see. Where did I leave off? Looks like Norway I'm at. Oh, it's like that conversation. <clears throat> I got to, oh, I'm a little far behind. I got to get caught up. Sorry, guys. I got to skip a little bit. Oh, so says John Stephen did it as well. Okay. Well, he did. If, if it is John Stephen, he did a great job. He does a good job with, uh, with Norton and Wilson. Discontinued bottle. I would love to get one. Okay. Beaufort London VA Armis. I've never heard of this. The whisk, the whiskey section. I like, I like the name, with no e. That's an interesting spelling too. In my '70s porn star bag today with Liz Claiborne, Mambo. I see Mambo at Ross Dress for Less like damn near every time I go. Let's see. I'm in the minimal, in I like the minimalist look of the bottles. It's very sleek, and I'm sure that's what he was going for here. Uh, kind of like the somewhat similar to the style Jeremy was going for, but I think he did it a little bit better. Uh, also, because it's not they're not crazy priced right out the gate, so like I think he's doing a red one seventeen US. I think so, phenomenal price point for him to go after. And apparently, there's samples, sample only. Samples are five dollars. Then get samples, five bucks. So if anything interests you. Hello. When you bought together and you get another ten percent off, you can add a sample or you can get another bottle or whatever. It's, I like the way he's approaching this. I think he's doing it right. Kudos to Omar. Seriously, I, th I think he's doing it right. And when the chat hit that like button, that's what I'm talking about. Let them know, boss. Sixty-three likes. We got one hundred and one viewers. We'll get there. Like I said, I expected a more intimate crowd because it's a very niche topic. We're talking about a content creator's fragrance, <laughs> you know. So I. I figured it would be a, a more intimate setting, which even if 20 people show up, we're still going to have a live stream. You know what I mean? We're still going to talk about it. So I appreciate you guys being here. Intense Pepper from Montal. I've been wanting to try that one for a long time. I haven't gotten around to it. I need to keep that one in the front of my mind. I definitely want to check that one out. Just bought Blue de Chanel Parfum, waiting for it to arrive. Very anxious. That, in my opinion, is the best blue fragrance out there. AM's in the house. What's going on? Tried Scandal Parfum Cologne again. I love the opening. There's a note I can't detect. It's one that gives an animalic vibe. Anyone else have this experience? I believe there's civet in there. I believe. Let me look real quick. Hell, we'll look together. Let's see. I believe civet's in there. Could be wrong. Of course the notes aren't here. Why would the notes be here? That would just be convenient. And they want to make me go to this shithole. Well, we're on Troll Grantica. I could have just went to Roger Parfums. So, no civet. But they do have clove. I don't know how authentic the ambergris is that they use. I, need, I know they use a better quality ambergris than what you'll find in most fragrances. Because real ambergris, I think, is is crazy, crazy, crazy expensive and rare now. So mm, I'm not sure. But as far as what's making it very animalic on you, I mean, it could be clove that's coming across that way. Labdanum being leathery. Uh, mm, I don't know. Because for me, it's very spicy green. I get a lot of the moss, tarragon, basil, all, all the greens, mint. I get all of that. I get all the greens. Cardamom. Nutmeg, everything making it spicy and green is what comes out on my skin. That's what I enjoy about it. Um, so I don't know. Could be just something the way it's reacting on your skin. It's been a while since I've wore it. I'll have to keep that in mind next time I wear it, see if it gets a little animalistic on me. Um, I don't recall it being that way, Jason, but could be the way it reacts on you. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Beaufort is amazing. So Ross, fam in the chat. Send of the day, Signature Royale. Saunders scent, that is an excellent choice. That does not get enough love. That gets the, that's one of the least loved in the group. That's one of the best. 
I like it more than noir. And I know a lot of people love noir. I have to get my hands on some Brioni. The whole line's good, my man. Whole line is good. Lourdes Boise by Jacques Foth. Uh, it's very long lasting. It's 10 to 12 hours easy. I've only worn it one time. I've done a few test sprays, but I only wore it one time. And uh, it was like 10 or 11 hours when I took my shower. And I mean, it was still pumping. <laughs> so the CI is just pretty strong on it. Like I said, it's kind of like niche Bentley Intense. Kind of how I look at it. Rasasi Hawash for the fragrance apologist. Good to see you, my man. Whiskey without the E is Scotch and Irish whiskey. Whiskey. So I'm not an, I'm not a whiskey guy. I don't really drink that all that much and all that often. So you're educating me. The more hashtag, the more you know, right? So thank you for letting me know. That is my fun fact of the day, I guess. Brioni is an island in Croatia. I got a sample of Mr. Romantic the other night, and I really enjoyed it. So far, the early stages of this is very enjoyable. If you like old school code, like old formulas of code from early 2000s, with like old La Nuit de Lone, basically, it reminds me of like a combination of those. I think it's so well done. <sighs> Powdery, spicy, sweet, creamy. Not too much of anything. Not too much of anything. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, this one makes me want to try the others. Specifically, Mr. Marathon. I really want. I'm going to buy Mr. Marathon. I will buy that in the coming weeks. I'm going to buy Mr. Marathon. I'm interested. Mr. Romantic's definitely on my to-buy list. So I guess you enjoyed your sample quite a bit. So that's that's what samples are for. Determine if they're bottle worthy or not. If he has more. So he has two. He's going to have a collection of five. According to the site, I'll switch over. Three of the five have been released. See how professional and head turner are grayed out? They haven't come out yet. So the first fragrance was Mr. Fragrant. That's the signature scent. Mr. Romantic, the date night, which we're smelling here. Then the newest release is Mr. Maritime, which is the warm weather, the summer freshy. And it's actually the highest oil concentration of the three. It's 30%. So real quick, we'll take a look again at the notes for you. Top of bergamot, marine notes, and green mango. The hearts, tonka bean, clary sage, and rhubarb. Base, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber. And it's a 30%. Um, I'm here for this one. And I love the way the bottle looks. I, I think it's a cleaner look. And then the black, even though the black's really sleek, I don't know. That's just, it's very summery. I like the transition. 117 for 100 mLs, $5 for samples, niche quality fragrance, sleek design. I think Omar's doing it right here, guys. I know a couple of you have heard me say it over and over, but this gentleman, I think, is just joining. And uh, I just wanted to repeat it. I think Omar's doing it right. I think he's doing a really good job here. Well executed. Let's look at Mr. Fragrant real quick. This one is a 25%. And you're looking at orange and lavender, galbanum vetiver, patchouli musk, ambergris. I'm assuming that's Omar's hairy ass arm. <laughs> Omar's hairy dude. Bald like me, but he's, he's got a lot of, he's a hairy guy. I've noticed that. So, yeah, I like what he's doing with the brand. My wife is going to like this. My wife's going to like because she loves Lana Weed Delome and she loves Code. Armani Code. I, I got to say I'm impressed just on the early stages of this. I think it's great 8 out of 10 type of stuff. It's not like the most original thing in the world. Like I said, I can relate it to some things, but it's also not distinctively like a, either one of those fragrances. Like I get nuance from both La Nuit de Lome and Armani Code. Older bottles when they were denser and richer, and the quality is better. This is this is luxury niche quality oils here. I'm impressed. Yeah, eight out of ten, great. My first impressions on it. I think it's an excellent job. I can just keep going back to it and go. It's so sensual and smooth. Elysium. I'm liking it, but the performance I'm getting from my sample is less than be desired. Please sample, y'all. Which version? So there's three Elysiums. Which one? <laughs> oh, you meant Maritime. But yeah, Mr. Maritime, I'm, I'm going to buy that. I'm absolutely going to buy it. Oud and Arabic character. I like 
Montal Arabian Talk. I've heard great things about that one. Been getting overused lately, in my opinion. It's a lazy way to make fragrance smell good and spicy without adding originality. That's a fair point. Scent of the day is the original chrome. Can't go wrong. Most wanted. Still my favorite. As far as the wanteds are concerned. Rodrigo, good to see you. I've been doing with new copper steel fragrance. Um, so I haven't gotten it yet. So he mailed it to me. And there was an issue with mail. And a bunch of my stuff got sent back to senders. So he sent it back out. I should have it tomorrow. He sent it out a couple days ago. So I should have it tomorrow. And we'll do a stream, but it'll be like next week's stream because tomorrow's stream's already set up and then I'm leaving for Louisiana Thursday, not coming back till Sunday. So tomorrow is going to be the only the last stream. And we'll go back to our regular schedule. Guys, I want to apologize, but uh, apparently my network went to crap. Lovely. In the middle of a live stream. I'm telling you, I'm getting ripped off with this wow internet that's the only option here. And I'm paying for a 1.2 gigabyte per second connection. And during the day, I get on average around 30 to 35 megabytes per second download and uploads like 15 megabytes. At night, it's blazing fast, hundreds and hundreds of megabytes per second. But this is ridiculous. It literally, it, I can't connect to the network. Like I'm on data for GLTE because in Panama City, uh, 5G LTE is not really much of a thing with Verizon. So it's it, nothing, not everything's peachy living here. There's some things that I would change. But yeah, I can't even connect to the, the freaking network. It literally disconnected me from the network. So having some issues, might have to reset my modem or something, but I guess we're going to be cutting it short here in just a little bit because I don't want to just do this the whole time. Must be Spectrum. No, it's, it's not Spectrum. It's called Wow. That's the only option. They're putting fiber optic in. They've been putting it in for like two weeks. You can see the dude, you know, running the fiber optic wire all around the property. I can't wait till we get fiber optic. I had fiber optic when I was in San Antonio a few years ago for the few months I was there. And it's phenomenal. So hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, sorry it cut out like that, guys. Dude can hold a pose for a long time. No, it just froze. But Mikey, I had saw you. I was literally about to pin your comment when you got here. So sorry about that. No, the stream's not dead. Yeah, going back. Video card. No, it's not the video card. It's the freaking network. It's unreal, guys. Unreal. So, I mean, I know I'm going backwards here on the comments, but same as in Germany. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Man, I can't wait to get back home to Louisiana. Got to have some good gumbo, etouffee, and Shipley's donuts. Oh, there you go. So uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to eat. What's your take on insomnia, if any? I haven't tried it. It's been around for a while. I just haven't tried it. The bottle, I like the bottle style. The bottle looks cool. Clean with the plate and everything. It looks good. But I guess we're going to be shutting it down here in a second. So just to recap, uh, shout out to Omar. I'm sure he'll see this. I tagged him in the IG post. Omar, I think you're doing great with this. I think it's an excellent outing. I am going to, hopefully before the month is out, maybe next week, I'll go ahead and buy Mr. Maritime and 
I don't know. We'll do a lot, another live stream on that one. Hopefully, I'll, I'll have a good internet connection. So I hope that the audio is okay because, I mean, we're just on my cell phone right now. So, Guys, if you like anything about old old vintage code and old bottles of Lanoui Delone, you might want to try this. $5 for a sample. Um, I'm pretty sure down in the description I had linked Atrium Fragrances. If not, it's just atriumfragrance.com. Literally, the name of the brand.com, Atrium Fragrances, or just Fragrance, Atrium Fragrance, not plural. And check them out. It's worth checking out. Uh, I'm not even going to bother getting a sample of Mr. Maritime because I really like Mr. Romantic. I'm going to wear this to dinner, and uh, I'm going to let the wife smell it after, after I turn this off to see what she thinks. I think she's really going to like this. But I appreciate all of you for being here, for checking it out. Make sure to like the stream before you leave. Make sure to check out one of today's two review videos if you haven't checked them out yet. Uh, we've got another video coming tomorrow, as you would expect, with another shorts video. No live streams the rest of the week. We'll be back on Monday. I haven't set up a live stream just yet, but we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Central. So I guess we'll go ahead and shut it down, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. You have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.